Did you find your clothes? Gucci, Gucci, Stupid Rex, it's up, Corbin. I'm confused. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for, for more juicy us. content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us through the comments. It's the best thing ever! Today, we're doing a behind the scenes. A legit behind the scenes? Well, it's into the scene with Kieran Johar oh. about Kuch Kuch Holta Hey. Really? Yes. I just got the chills. I'm such a dork. <laughs> I so, literally just obviously, got the chills. Obviously, uh, by the time you see this on the channel, obviously we reviewed, we've reviewed Kuch Kuch the Holta Hey. Go check that out. Um, but this is Kieran Johar inside a scene. Uh, he, so we've seen a few of these with other directors. So he's gonna break down a scene, which will be very interesting, because uh, it looks it came out 2018, so what, 20 years wow. after after the actual wow thing. So yeah. uh, it'll be interesting to see what he also thinks of it. Yeah, uh, in the age. Of I'm it. hoping it says we've got Sharuk, Kajol, and Rani. So oh. I'm, I'm hoping it's a the scene no. with the three of them. Oh yeah, I bet it's a scene with yeah. the three of them. Um, hold on. All right, here we go. released on the 16th of October 1998 and we're in the year 2018 so that my god that's 20 years of, of my journey in the movies watch me deconstruct one of my favorite was that his first in the film. I didn't even check uh, I didn't check moment, dramatic moment fun moment that's it so this is actually one of the big moments in the first half. Uh, it was one of the first dramatic moments in Kuch Kuch Hota in the college portion. This is where Kajal comes over dressed oh, I and hated makes this. fun of her. And, you know, I hope you I remember that. I hated this. this. So for all of you who know this, really, and you're going to laugh when I say this, but the college in the first half of Kuch Kuch Hota hai, and if you zoom in to a signage in the train station sequence pre-interval, it's meant to be in Hold Your Breath, Faridabad. Why do not ask me? We didn't go to Haridabad. <laughs> we went to Mauritius to shoot this college. In Mauritius, clearly I didn't think even that was good enough. So this particular scene that I'm going to describe to you was not shot in Mauritius, certainly not in Faridabad, but this is in Scotland. A <laughs> meant to be in Faridabad has traveled wow. everywhere but Faridabad. We had a cinematographer called Santosh Tundial, who was the main DOP of the film, the director of photography. He did not get his visa to Scotland. Uh -huh. He's got rejected. So Farah requested a very veteran senior cinematographer, also Santosh, but Santosh Sivan, to shoot this schedule. We had scheduled 10 days for a song and this sequence and a couple of other moments. We finished in four days for anyone who knows Santosh oh, wow. Sivan. He's Speedy Gonzalez. He works faster than the light. They did more and than cut it in crazy, half, yeah. Frantic, but amazing, genius fellow. This is the scene. Okay, so this is Kajal who looks like a fruitcake. And <laughs> we wanted to make her look like over the top. She looked and adorable. She, she did there. look adorable and, and I hated it. Like this normally today, um, but this was considered funny. That's so defensive for her. Um, and if you carefully see the crowd of students, please, and I say that with a little bit of a Manish Paluta and Farah Khan are two of the students <laughs> sitting on the stairs. Manish has the strangest haircut that I've ever seen him in, and Farah is far. <laughs> Everybody there was like 40. For like all of you, uh, I have to give you a little bit of trivia on Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan is possibly the finest actor I have ever worked with and is considered one of our leading movie stars and best actors. But ask him to laugh in a scene, he can't do it. He finds it very difficult to laugh naturally. That explains so, so much. It really does. Of just trying to make Shah Rukh That's why laugh. his laugh is he so weird. Yeah. Him. It gets so exhausting that he laughs just out of exhaustion. I think this was that take. <laughs> Yelling no at the TV. Now Sarup is banging the wall out of frustration because he doesn't know how to laugh. <laughs> I love this. She's so good. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful. So expressive. 
I loved Ronnie's character so, too. Guys will give her a big master close up. It was a it was a rainy day and I remember it was just had to be shot really fast. We have one hour of this location. Kajal has a tendency of just getting an emotion almost immediately. And the scene was pretty much doesn't meant surprise to be me. that this happens and then Kajal walks away and then we cut to another beautiful angle in Scotland where the, the three of them have this moment. Now I have to tell you on screen or on paper, it was just considered like a scene where like Shah Rukh comes and pacifies Kajal and then Rani comes in as well and all three of them have a kind of a group hug situation and all's well that ends well and we move on. I got some kind of a, a weird like thought at that time that what if like he hugs Kajal and Rani wants to leave them for a moment and walk away and he holds her hand. Now, we debated this for over two hours and we were losing light and Santosh Sivan was losing his perspective. The reason why I say this is because the big debate was that is Shah Rukh coming across too evil? You know, because he's right. actually playing with both Kajal girls. Still holding right. on to right. hand. And that was a debate that how do we make this look as natural and easy? I think we overthought it because nobody else gave it so much thought when finding the scene. Not necessarily. Yeah, just, yeah. It just seems just like... Film it, you know check friend? it in editing, no, decide if you want to keep it. That was the well, like the rest of the film was logical. But we <laughs> That's a good point though. Hours. And I remember this so clearly because I saw my father staring at his watch because we had paid by the hour for this location. Those were the days where we were a much more poorer film economy. Shooting abroad was like a huge thing and making sure you make your day was very mm. important. And we were losing light, it was Scotland, weather, it was raining, but Santosh Sivan can shoot through any weather and make it look convincing. So I remember this was one of those turbulent days on shoot. <laughs> oh, and the other piece of information I have to tell you, which has got nothing to do with the emotional content, was there was a major breakdown that Manish Malhotra and I had because they were both in shades of pink and I wanted contrast. And it was only my father who walked in and said, I don't care what color they are wearing, just shoot. I remember that on my As you notice, my problems are very, very personal about this emotional scene. <laughs> it had nothing to do with the content. It had been extended. <laughs> I'm me. glad you recognized that. <laughs> Cringe, cringe. Cheesy. I love him for saying that. He knows. Well, okay, of course. Oh, he to save the day. Good guy. Big heart. Anyone. 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 <laughs> They've got to be cross-eyed. My Rani was crying, I had no idea. I love Ron. Ron I want to say when we're done, something about Ronnie's character we didn't talk about in the review. Mm. The big moment. And this was like when we realized that like the three of them like that, but of course we never got down to actually putting out a poster like that. But I remember a couple of things on this day. A, of course, a long discussion, the combat of the pink versus pink, and of course Manish and Farah in the frame. And the sequence begins with my mother walking up the stairs. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Uh, she was in a green and blue salar <coughs> and she looked like she was working for Air India for some reason on that day. So yeah, so this was the moment in Kuch Kuch Hota Hai and I can't say it's brought back any memories because I'm almost traumatized. <laughs> I have seen this and revisited this on this 20th year. It's making me feel older and perhaps a little wiser. Watch me deconstruct it only on Film Companion. That was great. That was good. That was really good. Oh, I'm glad. <clears throat> and obviously we, we I know about Karen Johar more than we've seen of Karen Johar. Absolutely. In terms of obviously his films, this is what, the second one, I believe? Yeah. And uh, My Name is Khanna was a very different one for him. And two years ago. Yeah. So, uh, and yeah, we I'm, know way more about him yeah. than And Caesar's obviously work. we know he's more known more for these style of films. Right. Uh, and it would be interesting because obviously, now that it's been announced, his next film next year is with Ranveer and Alia. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. The very interesting. Um, and what, like, because, 
I know he still has that kind of reputation we saw in that skit with Ranveer. Right. Like if DJOJ was, yeah, right, exactly. if everybody was saying, dude, what's up, man? <laughs> Which makes total sense now. Total sense now. <laughs> Completely understand. What do you want to say about Ronnie? I wanted to say that her character, uh, and I appreciate what he said, and we, we didn't talk about this in the review, because that's just, we can't cover everything in, in reviews when we want to keep it within a 30 minute time frame. Yeah. But I really liked the way he, he did two things. First, it would have been really easy to make SRK the bad guy. And when they were doing the musical number where they're singing about they're in love, I said to Indrani watching it, I'm like, man, don't let this be a Baji Ramastani where I'm gonna really hate one of the characters and feel like the good girl is the one getting broken hearted. But the other thing was I felt that Ronnie's character as well, mm -hmm. Tina, could have been done as equally, maybe even more so. Uh, she was such a good person. Mm -hmm. And that made that a, it made her portrayal on the way he wrote Ronnie prevented SRK's character from being a bad guy. Mm -hmm. He just was, he was dumb and blind. That's all he was. But that's a, that's a testament to, in a film that's basically just cringy and cheesy, he actually did a very good job of balancing a delicate framework for that trilogy of people together related. Yeah. It'd be interesting like to see what he thinks of his older films now. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know, because obviously I haven't seen outside of My Name is Khan, a more recent one right. of his. So right. I don't know how much they've changed. Right. But I know he obviously produces like he did, uh, I think he did Student of the Year. He produces a lot. Uh, I mean, he's Dharma Productions. I think he owns that. Yeah. The he produces production a lot. house. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be super interesting because obviously there's people that love these, these films and, and we like the film as well. But obviously if you saw this as a child, it's probably very nostalgic for you. It is. For Indrani, for her, this is what she I mean this but can she see the cringe parts oh 100 yeah. percent she yeah. absolutely can see the cringe so i feel like sometimes when there's nostalgia involved some people can't see the the cringy parts or the parts no, that she literally aren't can. aren't what you thought she they did, were as a kid. she did while we're watching it she did exactly what he did in some points like, she oh. just co she covered her eyes and she went oh my god God, that's so cringe. That's so <laughs> awful. <laughs> but that's one of the things you just have to go in expecting. Yeah. Uh, since it was made 20 years ago right. in an industry that was still coming into its own. Discovering itself. Yeah. Revi not even discovering itself. It was changing, yeah. revitalizing itself. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that was cool. Let us know uh, what is the, another inside the scene we should watch and what should be the next SRK Cajole film. Because I think we'll eventually watch all seven of them. Every one of them. Uh, and he has other ones with Ronnie as well. I think I want to see everything those three have done, really. Yeah. I'm big fans of all three of them. Yeah, so let us know down below. Josh!